And welcome back to another lab. You guys are doing great so far, lab three, so let's crack on. Now in the last lab, we talked about objects and we were in Object Studio. So this means today we're gonna to be talking about processes in Process Studio. Now, why do we separate them at Blue Prism? Why not just do everything in one studio, right? Less is more. Well, not always. You see, by breaking them up into components like processes and objects, we can start to create reusability. Also, when you're building a lot of information for these digital workers, since they can work 24 seven, you're gonna to wanna to give them a lot of work to do. But we don't want to have to give you, the human being, a lot of work of always building. So if I have a process, think about these labs in this case, of using this internet website that we've used, once you build that object, any process you give it access to can reference that object. We don't have to build it again. This also helps the collaboration and a lot of other things. Now, are you gonna to have to learn new skill sets for the Process Studio? Is it that much different? Nope, it's still the same drag and technology, drag and drop technology, excuse me, that we learned in the Object Studio. So, let's crack on, I'll see you in the Process Studio. All right, welcome back, Lab 3. We are cruising now, officially. So go ahead and open up lab three in the object, again, real fast in the blue prism that's on the object level right here, lab three object, and you will be right with me. Okay, let's go back to the search page right here, and now we're gonna get into parameters and how we pass something up from a object level to a process level. And this will be really important when you are building production ready level processes, Please, 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 friendly reminder, make sure you read the notes, especially before these labs on lab three. There's some really good information on there. All right, so go ahead on the search page again, open up the search property right here, and we're going to add a new input. So on the bottom right, click add, and this one we're gonna call search for. A little description of what to search for. It's going to be a text item here, and we'll go ahead and grab that text on the right, search for, and that way we have an area to store that in, right? So other than that, we're gonna go ahead and click OK. That's all we're gonna do in the start stage. Now you may have noticed as well that there is a launch page right here and close. By all means, go ahead and explore those. Those are preloaded for you guys. Again, just to, they're, they're already concepts we've already covered. You can see here like intelligent wait stages and the drag and drop and blocking and verify do confirm, but go ahead and take a peek on that. But finally, what we need to do before we exit our Object Studio is we need to publish this. So notice how our launch and close and cleanup have this little block icon. This means that it's actually published. So when we publish something, when we're on the process level, so not in Object Studio, Process Studio, uh, this will allow us to actually choose this in our business uh, application level right here. So now you can see it's published. That would mean on our process level, we could select this object. So there you go, there you have it. So you should look exactly like this. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit save, control S so right there. We can say we published a page um, and added, well, come on Corey, no comment needed, and added a input parameter on the start um, stage. Now, Corey, I do really have to do notes on this. Actually, it's really important for a couple reasons. Number one, if I make an automation and I hand it to a coworker, they can see exactly how I built it. Uh, version control. Let's say you do several saves and you want to go back to you know previous because it works better or something like that. You can, of course, revert back to older versions. It is very nice to look at the versions that you have with notes. Trust me. So go ahead and hit save. That is a blue prism best practice. It will save you a lot of time, especially as you get into complex, cool automations and things like that. All right, save changes. Alrighty then, so now that we have our object saved and published and start input parameter all nicely placed in there, we're back in the studio here, and this time we're going to go to processes, so not on the object level, the process level, you're going to right click process and click create process, and that is a right click by the way, not a left click, so 
Trust me, I've had that error myself. And this time we're going to call this lab three process and we'll hit the next button. We'll put in a little description like pasta, chicken. Oh, no, wait, I'm just kidding. That's my grocery list for tonight. Um, we'll go ahead and put in searches marketwatch.com and we'll hit finish. There we go. And of course, it will pull that up. We'll double click it. And here is your first time in Process Studio. Welcome. Again, remember, you can always turn these grid lines off with the view right here, um, but it's up to you. Okay, so now that we have everything open, we're going to first drag two action stages um, down here between start and end. Now notice, remember the process, process studio is the, the what, right? Not the how, that was object studio. How do we interact with the applications like writing or reading or launching? Notice our toolbar is slightly different. We don't have a read stage. We don't have a write stage. Again, that's because it's all done on the object level. And we do that. Why, Corey? Because that's going to make it scalable, right? So if we have a launch uh, SAP business object and lock in, or in this instance, launching marketwatch.com, any process can use that object, right? You don't have to go and rebuild it. Um, it saves a lot of time and makes this much more scalable. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag two action stages onto our lovely campus right here. Okay, we'll open up this first one and we're gonna call this one launch. We wanna launch our website, right? In this instance, we're gonna select which business object. See, this is probably making more sense now that you can visually see it. And we're gonna come down here. Now, of course, I have way more in here because I'm always in blue prism. Um, but what we're going to want to do is we want to get that answer key. So come down, answer key, lab three, object. And in this one, we're going to choose the different actions. Now, these actions, if you remember, are the actual pages. So if I choose launch, like so, that's referring to the launch page on my business object, right? So my business object, answer key, lab three, right here. Easy breezy. Next, we're going to add a data item. So bring this down here and we're going to call this one search for. We'll do text and this time go ahead and type D-O-W right there. Okay. And plus OK. So it should look now something just like this. Not too crazy, right? All right, the second one, so our second action stage down here, go ahead and click that as well. And this one will title search. Uh, or you put search for if you want. Okay. And where it says business object, again, we're going to get that lab three answer key. So let's scroll down here. And there it is right there. Answer key, lab three object. And this time, go ahead and hit search. And notice we've got a few different inputs and we're going to reference this one with our search for. So just drag and drop. Basically the value right here is what we're searching for and that is referencing our data item. Okay, easy breezy. So go ahead and click OK with me so far. And now we're going to go ahead and link these together. So go ahead and link like so. There you go. I'll make this just a little bigger in case you want to see. By the way, there is a zoom right here. So if you're like me, hopefully you're not. Um, I'm almost blind. But um, actually not anymore because of LASIK surgery. Thank you. And we'll go ahead and hit reset right now. So you can see errors at zero. And you can, of course, go ahead and hit play on this. All right. So let's give this just one final run through so you can see it in action. I've got my... Um, Studio over here on the right and process just minimize a little bit so we can see the website up and we'll go ahead and just hit play now. So make sure you hit the reset. Go ahead and see you go from start. Okay, it's going to launch over here. Okay, there's marketwatch.com. It's ensuring that that search button is there and then that the price is there. And so we can see that for DOW process is completed the status up here. And that is lab three. Let's head to the wrap up folks.